All right, well, hello, I'm Halcyon. This is the weekly Hug Nation broadcast. Ah, uh, I am in my upstairs man cave broadcasting here, um, partially because I won't be here much longer, going to be moving out of this home in the next few weeks, and partially because uh, the downstairs, where I normally broadcast from, is covered in boxes as we are packing and moving. So this is a little bit of a, oh, I won't say sloppy, but let's say off-the-cuff broadcast. But there is... uh, one topic I want to share. You know what? Let's just let's do this. We'll just go. You know what? Let me let me see if I can if I have a, a way to record it. Let's try it. <sighs> Welcome. I'm Halcyon, and this is the Hug Nation broadcast. Today I want to talk about art, but it's but more than that, more than that, because I have been deep in the Pink Path process, the coaching program that I do occasionally. And I've got a new group of people. We've been working on it. Um, we're in week two right now. But the core of the program, and it's, I talk about this all the time, is is you create these, like a personal manifesto of sorts with a series of I am statements. And it's a great way to just start your day heading in the right direction by reminding yourself who you are. Some people actually do create like a manifesto or a mission statement. It's kind of like, before the world tells me otherwise, remind myself who I am when I'm at my best. And last night I had this like, boom, an awareness of who I am that I needed to add to my statements. Because the statements are not chiseled in stone. You change them week by week, day by day, whatever works to keep you, you know, feeling alive when you read them. And so last night I had this thought I am art. Not I am an artist, which is something that I have waxed philosophically about in the past, but I am art. Kind of like how Dali says, I don't need drugs, I am drugs. And really it was um, it was a remembering because there was a time in my life when I really I had my business cards just to say, I'm a lifestyle artist. And I Burning Man really taught me that art is a way of living and a way of being an artist is a way of making decisions. And so in the way I wear my hair and the way that I try to deal with conflict and the way that I pursue growth or the way that I do anything, I I have been remaining in the in the headspace of like that that is I do not, that can make me an artist. You don't have to produce a painting or something on canvas or sculpture to be an artist. You can be an artist in the way that you actively live in the world. But this like slight tweak or a return to, no, you are art. It, I don't know, it was like, it was like liberating. It was like, it gave me permission to care less, I think. Or to have more, uh, have more lenience and acceptability with people who might have issue with me, because if I am art, art of any value, then it should be confrontational to somebody. It should be. It should stir something. And if I was going to be art, would I want to be art that you know sanitary art that you see in a hotel, or you know a coffee shop, or would I want to be art that people sit in front of in a gallery and go like damn or i want that on my wall or i don't i don't think i could hang that in my house that's whew. and that is what i want people to think when they see me whew. i don't think i want that in my house i mean it's cool i just don't want it in my house so that is a that is a a a, a brief belief buffet mess for today, a lesson, a dish, just the the reminder that we are art. And I think that that awareness also can help adjust decisions that we make, make in our life. I am guilty of, as I think most people are, at times you, you, you work to fit in. 
you you try to gauge what is acceptable, what is appropriate, and then you maneuver and adjust so that you can be a part of status quo culture. But if you're art, no, you don't need to do that. If you're art, then you have to remind yourself quite the opposite, that you have to connect to a truth of your own, a message of your own, a instinct of your own, for it to be art. If it's not authentically you, it's not art. And maybe that's what it comes down to. So for me to have that statement and remind myself, I am art, it means that if I am authentically me, if I can strip it all away and express heartfelt, truthful, vulnerable, boom, then I am art. And so are you. Thank you for joining me here. I look forward to a time when we can have physical in-person gallery showings filled with hugs. But until then, we will have digital performances of human art weekly on the Hug Nation broadcast and daily in the Hug Nation gratitude circles, where I hope you join us sometime at noon and six. Yes. Also, this Wednesday is Inauguration Day in the United States. Let's just plan for everything going smoothly. But if it is an emotional day for you, or if there's things going on that uh, you need a safe space, the Hug Nation Gratitude Circle room, or main room and breakout rooms, is going to be open as a place to kind of get together and uh, comfort or celebrate. The main room is going to be no political conversation, just love, support, gratitude, um, excitement. And then there'll be other breakout rooms if you want to have more nuanced conversations about policy, politics, past presidents, QAnon, vaccines, things like that. Um, and we'll, and then some other breakout rooms that are just be for having smaller conversations with people. I am, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to a, a exciting day and feeling connected to. Uh, Americans and the world, hopefully, right? Why not? Um, Aaron pointed out that art is an opinion of one artist, and people can take it or leave it. That's I I agree a million percent. You cannot judge art as good or bad. You can just judge if you like it. You can judge if you think it required craftsmanship. You can judge your interpretation of themes and use of materials, but um, art is, once the artist is has made the intention that they are creating from a authentic place, that motherfucker just made art. That's why um, Duchamp's sculpture, um, uh, Our Mutt, the fountain that was just a urinal that he signed, he was you know, saying, look, art is about idea. I look forward to more expressions of human art. Uh, the gratitude circles have been another one of the, the things that kind of reminded me of this idea and, and getting these daily peaks at people's lives all around the world and uh and that it is a it is a, it's miraculous and it is beautiful and it is as much a human life is as much art as as anything in the same way a, a tree or a a snowflake or a or a human life beautiful shit man so as one artist above judgment to another create on i love you have a beautiful day oh let's have a hug uh, wherever you are give yourself a squeeze and in this moment sink into this awareness that you are 
something much more than your thoughts and your art and your jerseys that you wear and your allegiances and your beliefs that you are at your core something beautiful and human and loving and just like all humans you have these desires for safety and for comfort you want to protect those that you care about and love and in that place we can find overlap and camaraderie with everyone so for just a moment let go of the specifics and the details on how you find that comfort how you how you define how we get that safety and spread that love and just recognize at some level we all we all want the same things and so in that place let's embrace and join in this hug of a global single human family and take a deep breath in and hold it On behalf of Grandpa Caleb, all love warriors, and Martin Luther King Jr., happy Hug Nation. I love you. If you're watching the archive, bravo, making it to the end. Shoot me a note and uh, I will reply with a silly face.